I'm going to take both puppies and I'm going to introduce them to a shotgun. And this, this is very important that this is done. Charlie is going back very soon. So I want to make sure that his dad doesn't have any problems with him. It's better if I introduce him to a shotgun. This is not a 22. I'm using a 12 gauge. I'm using low brass shells. So it's not going to be that loud, but it's a lot louder than a 22. Don't start problems with the dog. Do this and do it like I do it. I'm going to tie the dog up in a high collar right here. Charlie, here. Okay, so Charlie, if he does get kind of barn sour, he can't go anywhere. He can't gain momentum. Do you understand? Like, see if 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 that would uh, if the dog would gain momentum, it would sort of encourage that excited behavior. So this way, Charlie's not going anywhere. Do you get it? It's real simple. We're only going to shoot the shotgun once. They'll know after this, after they see this, that this thing makes a lot of noise. And then the owners, they can start doing retrieves along with the shotgun. Do you understand? Shoot the shotgun, throw a retrieve, have the dog go get it. The dog will start associating that with like retrieving the bird. But I, I think that it's very important that both dogs, I introduce the shotgun, make sure that everything's okay. Charlie, you little maniac, you better watch this. So I'm gonna walk about 50 feet away from Charlie, because this is louder. Charlie, sit. No, sit. zero fear response he's just excited he's, he's got this look in his in his eye like you know he does he has this look the same look that he had when I brought the dummy launcher out and he did the dummy launcher for the first time Charlie passes with flying color I doubt that his dad will have any problems we can try shooting it close by and see how he is let's do that Charlie watch out dude Nothing. He's solid as a rock. Awesome. Let me get Cammy. Camo. Little Cammy. Little green eggs and hammy Cammy. Char. Good boy. Camo, s smell this. Smell that. You know what that is? That's right. All right, so it's the same thing with camo. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to walk down that way a bit, see how he is. If, if, he, if he's cool, I might shoot it closer. Charlie, knock it off.
He's doing great. Charlie's going ape shit. I'm gonna do it one more time close by. Cammy. I was. Camo, sit. Oh, fucking rock solid, both dogs. Good boy, Camo. Cammy! Cammy! They like each other. Cammy was like flipped out about Charlie at first. Charlie's very gregarious. Camo's a lot, lot more so now. Hey, come on guys, let's go, here. These two are fucking retarded. Look at them, that's ridiculous. Charlie and freaking camo. Here! Camo! Here! Come on, buddy! Come on, Char! Come on, guys! Come on, here! Good Cammy! Cammy! This is a really great day for me, seriously. It is. It was like this with every dog I've trained to be a gun dog. That when I break the shotgun out on the way over, I'm like, God, I hope this goes well. I know that if it doesn't go well, I can do stuff to make it go well later. But seeing both dogs respond, you know, appropriately, neither dog was freaked out. It's a sigh of relief. It is. Start working with your dog when it's real young. And, you know, when, when Charlie was young and when, when any dog is young that I'm working with and I don't want them, to be gun shy, I'll, I'll take like a, a cast iron pan and a hammer and smack it together. And then I use a 22 and I build the dog up. We just used a 12 gauge and both dogs are fine. They'll totally be able to go back home and their owners work with them with shotguns and doing retrieves. Very happy, I'm very, very happy.